today we are going to learn determination of melting point of a solid organic compound. As you know, the temperature at which a given solid state of a substance begins to change into liquid state at one atmospheric pressure is called melting point. You can also define this as the temperature at which the solid and liquid forms of a substance can exist in equilibrium at one atmospheric pressure. As heat is applied to solid, its temperature will increase until the melting point is reached. At this stage, the temperature becomes constant. The melting point can be used as an indicator of purity because a pure substance has sharp melting point. Let us learn how to find melting point of a solid organic compound. You know that the kinetic energy of molecules of a substance increases on heating. When it becomes high enough to overcome the attractive forces operating between the molecules, the lattice structure of solid breaks. The solid melts and comes into the liquid state. Melting point of a substance is the temperature at which solid state of a substance begins to change into the liquid state when the pressure is one atmosphere. Materials required to determine the melting point of solid organic compound are Thiel's tube, thermometer, cork with side groove, capillary tube, iron stand with clamp and burner. The chemicals required are liquid paraffin and organic compound. Now let us begin the experiment. We will take Thiel's tube and fill it with liquid paraffin so that it crosses the bent portion of the tube. Care has to be taken that the liquid paraffin should slide along the wall of the tube. You can bend the tube to take out the air bubbles, if any. Now we have the Thiel's tube filled with liquid paraffin, little above the bent portion of the tube. Here we are taking Thiel's tube because the side arm of the tube is designed to generate convection current and thus transfer the heat evenly and rapidly throughout the liquid paraffin. Now we will fix it on the iron stand with the help of the clamp. The thermometer fitted with rubber cork having groove on its side for the escape of air and vapors will be fixed inside the tube which is filled with liquid paraffin. We will now take capillary tube and seal one of its open end by heating it on flame. While sealing the tube, we should rotate it so that to ensure that complete closure of the opening has taken place. After a while, you will see that a small bead has formed. We will now take finely powdered naphthalene. We will crush organic compound into fine powder. We will take a little of compound on glaze tile and press it with the spatula nicely to turn it into fine powder.
Now we will fill the organic compound into the capillary tube by pushing it against the organic compound. Care should be taken that you should loosely hold the tube between the index finger and the thumb and gently tap it on the tie. We will repeat the procedure till about one centimeter of the tube is filled with the organic compound. Now we have the tube which is nearly filled to about one centimeter in length. Now we will moisten the capillary tube with liquid paraffin and stick it to the thermometer. We have to make sure that the bulb of the thermometer and sealed end of capillary tube are at same level. Now we will dip the thermometer along with the capillary tube in liquid paraffin in such a way that the thermometer bulb and the filled capillary portion is just completely dipped into the paraffin and open end of the capillary remains in air. Now we will start heating the bend of the Thiel's tube gently. Slowly and gently, you can move the burner only on the side of the bend of Thiel's tube. This ensures the uniform heating of the substance. We will note the temperature when the solid starts melting. At this stage, the temperature becomes constant for some time. And this will be the melting point of the organic compound. Now the solid has completely melted. At this point, we will switch off the burner and note the reading in the thermometer. Learners, you must have noticed that pure solid have sharp melting point. This is an indicator of purity of the substance. Some of the precautions and sources of errors which could arise during the experiment are that capillary tube should not be very thick and the powder of a compound which we fill in the capillary tube should be filled around one centimeter length. And packing of powder should be tight without any air gaps in between. We should also keep the lower end of the capillary tube and the bulb of thermometer at the same level. Bend of Thiel's tube should be heated gently in order to ensure uniform heating. And the cork of Thiel's tube should have a side groove so that vapors can escape through it during the process of heating to prevent bursting of the tube. Safety gloves are not used here as heating is involved. Well, now you have some exercise questions. Why do pure solids possess sharp melting points? You can also work on the question, what is the effect of impurities on the melting points of solid? Thank you.